All right, guys, we're back in Code Fights, Island of Knowledge of the intro section, doing Array Maximal Adjacent Difference. So what we're trying to do here is find out the absolute value of a difference between some numbers. So there's two, there's a two difference here, there's a three difference here, so, so thus we return three. All right, seems easy enough, right? Well, let's go ahead and get started. I uh, created this variable called max diff. Max diff gets initialized to the first value because that's what I kind of decided to go with. Uh, just to set the tone, I guess. You don't have to initialize it. This is something I've started doing quite a bit. Is if I know I'm going to be checking for a value, I'll just initialize it to the very first one and go from there. So we're getting the apps. Remember, we're getting the absolute difference. So I'm gonna use the math dot absolute, and then we start a for loop. Now on one instead of zero because we initialized it. As I say that, I put a zero in, and we say while well, i is less than our input array dot length. Go ahead and iterate for each one. Now here we. Uh, I create a variable. You don't have to create a variable. Uh, again, I, sometimes I just do this to really hammer it home. So what I'm saying is if current diff, which is current difference, is equal to the math dot absolute of the item, the previous item to our current item. So we're saying, hey, go ahead and get the absolute value of our previous index minus our current index and if it happens that the current diff is greater than max diff go ahead and set that and we can actually we can do it like this forget the if statement we'll just do a ternary so max diff is equal to uh, the statement current diff greater than max diff. If that's true, we can go ahead and set the value to current diff. L set it to max diff. We'll just use a ternary. Looks a little cleaner in my opinion. So we're getting the difference with current diff, and then we're saying, hey, if it's larger than this, go ahead and set the value to that. If it's not, just set it back to itself. And at the end here, we're just going to go ahead and return our, our um, max diff. I'm assuming no syntax mistakes. I think that is it. Submit it. Kind of a strange one for being so deep, so far into it. But uh, code fight sort of difficulty is all over the place. Um, maybe if you didn't know about the math library, it might have been a little bit harder, I guess. You might have learned that. But uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And if you uh, would like to support me at Patreon, that's great. And we have our Facebook group and our Discord channel, all that good stuff. All those links are in the description. I hope that you are studying algorithms. As uh, I'm using, I'm using this as a way of prepping. Because even even though you can study things like binary trees and and uh, big O notation, you should. If you really want to get one of those super like Facebook Google jobs because that's what they're going to test you on. Stuff like this is good prep for a practical coding interview in which they'll give you a couple algorithms similar to maybe harder than this. In my experience, a lot harder than this and go and solve it. And if you've trained yourself to be able to solve these quickly and uh, you're prepared, you'll, you know, you could get a job out of it down the road. Uh, and, you know, go from there. But as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.